All right, time for one of my favorite techniques, using the shotgun against someone who's really blading in their stance and spinning underneath into X guard. This is probably what the fanciest technique I, I use within Mantis guard when it comes to like doing like actual spin unders and stuff like that. But it's a technique that I really enjoy. So hopefully you guys do too. So the regular shotgun sweep is really strong to establish that Delahiva X if my opponent is squared towards me and kind of uh, squatting themselves down a bit. So I have that platform from which I can apply and absorb force to be able to shoot in deep. But if Kevin turns himself more or is more upright uh, the other way like this, I don't have that platform to be able to push off of because uh, his hip is receded away from me. So what I'm going to do is actually use this hip. I'm going to do this very quickly because if my foot stays here, I'm close to a leg drag. And I'm also close to being a steam locked if he wraps underneath like this and squares back up and he's able to actually create an uh, inversion of my ankle. So as I'm here, I like to control this wrist as much as I can because obviously this arm is super far away from me. I just want to make sure that hip's clear. What I'm looking to do is put my foot on his hip. I'm going to do the same shotgun movement, only I'm going to pull myself underneath. My head's going to go around his leg and invert underneath, which is the most difficult part. So as I go here, I hook at the hip. I'm going to crunch in, engaging off of his far leg here. So this leg's not really doing anything at this point once it's done its job of elevating from, because I can't, I use it to push and lift my hips, but I can't pull. So it now comes down to the curl of my arm to pull my shoulder in, as well as the engagement of this leg where I'm going to extend it so that my leg drives in the back of his knee and my foot extends into his hip, because that's going to help pull me further to do this. And that's the key part, is getting my head to spin close to his ankle, but I have enough space to still get around. If I have too much space out like this, I'm gonna be more inclined to try and go through this space, which I don't want to, because if I bring my head through like this, there's nothing. You can see how I've just put myself in this off position, and I die. And if I get too tight too quickly, then I'm going to get my shoulder right up against his leg here. I'm going to have a hard time spinning my head underneath where I go like this and my head starts to collide into the side of his heel. I need to have the space where my head is a little bit more past so that he's almost, uh, his ankle's almost making contact with like my trap or rotator cuff so that I can pull myself underneath and spin myself to here. It's awkward at first, but it's something that, uh, even with the size of my head, I find it's quite easy to do now. So here, he's turned himself away. So obviously if he turns back into me and his foot, and my foot's able to go around on his hip, I can easily use that for base. But he takes it away. Maybe he's even blocking his hip. He's like, ah, I don't want you touching that. But I'm able to go around now. I can even go up and over his arm like this to go foot on the near hip. So that now I can elevate myself and shoot through. And now I pull myself underneath like this. My foot tries to go to the near side hip as fast as possible because that's going to be a strong frame. Then now I can go straight into frame behind his knee. And because of the off balance of that inversion, I love just chaining straight into building up into a technical stand-up sweep or depending on how he's pushing against me against that technical stand-up sweep, just blocking at the ankle and dropping our point that way. So more like the full motion as I'm here and I'm off balance. And maybe I push on the knee quickly because I want to establish this because this is one of my preferred techniques. I go here. I'm able to keep him off balance and keep that tension. Be able to launch my attacks. So you got to spin underneath. Your head is going to go close to his foot, but you just need to make sure that you have enough room to be able to get that head by so you can spin through into X guard. So, it's a little bit awkward at first, but with the engagement of that deep hook, as well as your arm, it's not that difficult to pull yourself underneath. And to an extent, it's gonna move your opponent towards you as well, because it's gonna force them to circle on those back steps. So one of my favorite techniques from the Mantis Guard, I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you have any issues with it, because uh, it's not something I've had to teach before to, uh, to anybody. So. Hopefully I got all the steps done well enough that it's clear to you, but if you need some help with it, give me some feedback and we'll try to work through it.